Coronavirus has been impacting so many people all around the world. Businesses have been shut down, hotels are closed, restaurants are closed, and many of them are unfortunately already out of business. Millions of people are without a job. One of the hardest hit industries in the world is the tourism industry. Restaurant industry is one of the core components of any tourism activity in the world. According to the National Restaurant Association, 8 million restaurant employees have already been laid off or furloughed. When you think about this, 8 million homes that do not have any food or maybe even roof over them. The restaurant industry will lose $80 billion in sales by the end of April because of the coronavirus. The situation is not an easy one or anything that any of us have seen in our lifetimes. This will not continue like this forever. In the past, we have had pandemics or other crises and tourism industry has overcome them. Tourism industry is resilient. Crises bring innovation. I would like to introduce you an idea that can be used in the restaurants as soon as they open up. It's a fact that coronavirus has changed many things in our lives. The consumers are not going to be the same consumers for some time. Customers will be very cautious where they dine. Of course, they want the restaurants that they will visit to be sanitary. The restaurants need to highlight these sanitation practices at these difficult times. The restaurants need to highlight these sanitation practices at these difficult times throughout their marketing are also customer service practices. They need to make sure that customers know that employees who are working in the restaurant are free of coronavirus. So daily temperature checks or even coronavirus tests will definitely help. Emirates Airlines just started to test the passengers for coronavirus before they board the planes. When the restaurants open up and customers go to the restaurants to dine, they will be seated and then the host will give them a menu or not. The menu pass hands and the perception is there that if someone touch that menu before you and that person had coronavirus, now you may have it too. So contactless service will be a key point for restaurants to adopt quickly. There is a practice in Chinese restaurants in China, even before the coronavirus, which I believe can be very handy for restaurants in the rest of the world. Ordering and paying with QR codes. This is how it works. The guest goes to the restaurant. The host seats the guest in, the ta in a table, of course, while observing social distancing rules. But this time, the host does not give the guest a menu. Instead, the guest will scan a QR code in their table with their smartphones, like you see in the picture. This will bring up the mobile phone friendly digital menu to the guest's phones. They will be able to order from their phones directly. The QR code will know which table the guest sits and the server will bring the food directly to the table. Actually, this technology can allow the restaurants to take the service quality to the next level. How? How about offering the menu in many, many languages? Imagine a German guest coming to your restaurant in Florida. Because they scan the QR code, they will be able to bring the menu in German, so they will be able to make a better decision, vice versa. You can also uh, serve the Chinese guests or any other country for that matter. Maybe you will be able to translate to um, translate your menu to different languages. Or another way to increase the experience in the restaurants by using this technology, by allowing them, the guests, to sort the menu items 
based on the most ordered items because people are going to order and you are going you can actually dynamically change your menu based on what people have ordered the most who does not want to know what are the favorites don't we always ask the server when we go to a restaurant what's good here what's the favorite item here you go the qr system may even allow the guests to rate the items that they had these rating systems will allow the guest again to sort the menu items based on their rates by other guests. You have a medical condition or religious preferences? No worries. The QR based menu will make all items gray out if they do not fit to your medical preferences. If you are a diabetic person, your menu will gray out all the items that have sugar on it. If you are a Jewish or Muslim guest, all items that have pork or pork products will gray out. So you will not make a mistake by ordering that Caesar salad that has bacon bits on it. So you can actually make that experience even better for you. Time to pay now? No need to give your credit card to the, get, uh, to the server. By scanning another code, this time you can pay directly to the restaurant contactless. The QR technology is not a new technology. However, it's not widely used in restaurants outside of China, at least to my experience. This is definitely the time to give this technology a try. It's also not very expensive to implement. I hear you are saying that, what if a guest does not have a smartphone? We had a panel at the M3 Center at the University of South Florida yesterday and John Horn from Anna Maria Oyster Bar in Bradenton area said that they are installing big digital screens in his restaurants so that guests can see the menu items without touching a menu. Maybe that's a solution for those guests who do not have a smart, um, smart phone. Uh, or asking the guests to look at a big screen at the entrance and decide on what they want before they sit. Innovation will be here and we need to think about different and more efficient ways of serving our guests. Hospitality industry will prevail. It is resilient. Please stay strong and keep your hopes high. We will overcome this. My best wishes from the College of Hospitality and Tourism Leadership at the University of South Florida. Thank you.